Hi, I'm Clara. It's summer day here in China, very hot. Hope you guys enjoy your days, summer or winter. Today, we're going to tell you the solution for network timeout alarm. It's almost a teaching video, so please don't miss it. Before getting into the main chapter, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and give me your like. Thank you. The control system in today's topic is the SAP card, so as the head controller. So please don't take the video as your solution if your system is not SAP card. If there is such alarm appearing in the PC, network timeout alarm, it occurs because of the IP address. Normally, we need to connect the industry PC by two parts. One is for the laser source and the other is the head controller. The laser's network connection will not be our today topic. First of all, we need to make sure that the two network cables are connected very firmly because loose cables can also cause such alarms. If we rule out the loose wires as the cause, we need to determine which local connections the head controller corresponds to. As we said just now, two connections only. One is for laser source, one is for head controller. Generally speaking, the colors of the two network cables will be different. Green one is for the laser source and the yellow one for height controller. Here, the colors are not fixed forever. Probably yours will be different. It depends on the actual condition. Here, we need to observe the feedback in the computer while operating. We first find the network settings in the computer in the properties find the Ethernet where local connection 1 and local connection 2 will be displayed. We try to unplug the yellow network cable to see which connection disappears in the computer, which means that the yellow cable corresponds to the number of the local connections. Then replug the internet cable. We also need to make sure that there is a flashing light at the connection, which proves that it's working normally. Find the corresponding local connection, double click, find the protocol 4 properties, and enter the following addresses in sequence. Three IP addresses. First, 10.1.1.100. The last must be less than 200 but not 188. Second, 255.0.0.0. .0 .0 .0. Third, 10.0.0.1. After finishing the step, we need to operate on the height controller panel. Press F2 and then press 6 to check the network settings of the height controller and make sure the network siding is on. If we have modified the IP addresses here, it's necessary to restart the head controller to take them effect. The IP address of the head controller should be 10.1.1.188. 255.0.0.0.1. .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 then we need to go to the machine configure tool, find the height controller and check whether its address is 10.1.1.188. If all above steps are finished, we can click test connection and the alarm should be gone. Then our solution is successful and the problem has been solved. If it's failed, we need to repeat the above steps or we can try to change the IP address of the Ethernet in the computer to be obtained automatically and then set it in the machine configure tool and then test the connection. 
This is all we have today. Hoping you have a happy time with me. Over here is my contact information. Please tell me if you need consumables, laser saws, or other components of the laser cutting machines. What do you want to know? Please write it in the comment below. I like to make a video for you. Thank you for joining me here today. I will see you next Tuesday here on my YouTube channel. See you. Bye.